Okay. I have defeated Kingdom Hearts 1. I have defeated Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. And we're going to continue with the story intermissions here. So, uh, in a nutshell, Kingdom Hearts 1 was Sora's world was destroyed, and Riku and Kairi were kind of lost in the process, so he goes off searching for them. Uh, meanwhile, parallel to that, the villains were looking for seven princesses of heart to open the or unlock the keyhole of darkness. Okay, these stories converge on each other when uh, uh, Riku is kind of recruited or manipulated onto the bad guy side and also converges when it's revealed that Kairi is a pr princess of heart. So uh, all of these things kind of culminate in a reveal that Riku is possessed by Ansem, who was a scholar who was researching the Heartless. And it basically turns out that Ansem wants to open this door called Kingdom Hearts, which I believe uh, contains all the hearts of people or something like that. And uh, he wants to release the Supreme Darkness from it. So that's that's his goal. Um, and, uh, you know, get all powerful and stuff like that. Uh, he opens the door, light shines through, it destroys him. And we close the door again with Riku and King Mickey inside. A couple of uh, loose pro plot threads from there. Uh, we're led to believe that all the, the worlds return to normal. And we're also led to believe that King Mickey escaped Kingdom Hearts. So then we move on to Chain of Memories, which is supposed to be a continuation of Kingdom Hearts 1. And there, Sora and crew enter this mysterious uh, location called Castle Oblivion. And inside here, they start losing memories of things that were happening in the past. And it's basically revealed that there's this girl named Namine who is um, like interfering or, or kind of changing uh, their memories. Uh, it's also later revealed that she is doing that against her will for these uh, black cloaked uh, organization members. So, uh, with Sori's, Sora's fake memories, uh, he believes that he needs to save Namine from this plight. So he goes through this entire uh, castle uh, seeking her out and eventually he encounters uh, Riku. Who is later revealed to be a fake Riku, like a doll or a construct or something like that. So we defeat fake Riku, we rescue Namine, and we kind of make up with fake Riku uh, so that we're friends. And we also end up defeating three members of the this black robed organization, which are Vexen, Larkseni, Larkseni, and Marluxia. Then at the end, Sora erases all of his memories of Castle Oblivion to get all of his old memories that Namine was tampering with. Uh, so basically nothing happened in memories. Um, there are some uh, loose plot threads that can be built upon though. The first one is fake Riku walks off into the sunset. So it's possible we may see him again. Uh, the second thing is uh, we learn at the end that there are more organization members outside of the three that we kill. And the last thing is Domine is still alive, so she could play an important role. So there's the, the story update, story intermission of how Kingdom Hearts is doing so far and how I'm interpreting it. So I'm going to move on to Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah.